Do you suffer from Cherokee Bridge Syndrome? college playing uh, Cherokee and every time we played a jam session everybody would always play it of course at warp five <laughs> because it was just a big fast tempo so everybody can just like you know show off their chops <laughs> and we used to always make a joke about how everybody always sounded great on the A sections and then when we got to the bridge sections everybody would just like crash and burn and I was one of those people too. And I always wonder like, well, you know, why is it so hard? Why can't we sound great on this, you know, famous jazz standard? And then I realize why? Because back then myself and everybody else who was folding on the bridge of Cherokee didn't realize that it, it was a two, five, one progression in the hard keys. People would be burning on the A section. Once they got to the hard keys, they would kind of just like, you know, take a break and, you know, fix their read or something. They come back to the A section and just rip it. The secret of playing the bridge of Cherokee, this wonderful, amazing standard, is just to accept and understand that the bridge is just two, five, one progressions in the hard keys. So on a tenor, it's gonna be C sharp, um, B, and then A. The best thing to do is to be comfortable with, on, on tenor, your C sharp major scale, B major full range. And then A major. I'm just going to play the 2 5 1 progression now, playing the major scale over it. So here's the first one be C sharp. B A And then turns around Turn around back to C What I always tell my students is that Again, we're talking the tenor key If you know your C sharp major scale If you know your B major scale If you know your A major scale Full range and comfortably possibly in a fast tempo, then you'll be able to handle the bridge because again, the two, five, one in C sharp and B and A is the same scale throughout. So I'm not saying that's what you have to think, but as just a basic level, get those two key major keys down and then practice those two, five, ones, and then you'll be able to rip through it. So for example, I'm comfortable with my C sharp major scale, my B major scale and my A major scale. So if that's my template, or that's my color I'm gonna use, anything I play in that scale will fit. The other secret about this too is that if you can't play it fast, if you don't feel like you got the, the scale down or just even the patterns or you can't think of it that fast and putting your fingers, slow the tempo down. <laughs> And then when you understand that you're comfortable with the major scale, you're able to kind of hear the two, five, one progression, you're just playing in that scale with vocabulary and patterns or whatever you want to work out, then the real test is can you play it fast? So that is my quick lesson on how to play Cherokee, at least the bridge, the scariest part of the song. Just know that it's a 2 5 1 progression, learn that major scale in that key, learn some vocabulary, get some, you know 
get comfortable on the instrument with it, practice slow, the bridge is easy. The bridge is the easiest part. The two, five, one progression, the most famous and simplest and easiest, most popular, most common progression in jazz. Once you got that down and all 12 keys, you can play probably anything of all the jazz standards. You can probably play all the jazz standards, except Chick Corea tunes, those are pretty hard. But good luck, like this, subscribe, be my friend, text me, make a comment below. If you want lessons, you wanna learn more, you wanna get your stuff together, let me know. Good luck, practice, bye.